Welcome to How to Cook That, I'm Anne Reardon and today we're making a rainbow loom band cake with rainbow frosting in between the layers and a giant loom band bracelet on top. For the uninitiated, loom bands are just little bands that you weave together to make into bracelets and all different other creations. Firstly, you will need to make two quantities of this sponge cake recipe and two quantities of one of the frosting recipes. The sponge cake and frosting recipes and all the videos of how to make them are all on the website howtocookthat.net and I'll put a link in the description just below this video. Place two thirds of a cup of your frosting into five different bowls and mix in your pink color into the first one. And here I'm using the French buttercream frosting recipe. You can use any of the recipes that I've got on the website. Just choose the one that you like the taste of the best. And I'm also making it sort of pastel colors. If you want them brighter, you can of course just add more food coloring in. Then I've mixed an orange, yellow, green, and a blue. Use a cake leveler or a knife to split your sponge cakes in half and level off the top of each one. Place your first cake onto the cake stand and then spread some pink frosting over the top, going close to but not quite to the edges so that when you add that next layer it doesn't make it all ooze out the sides. Continue to layer it up with the other colours. Now, a few weeks back I made YouTube cupcakes with all your favourite YouTubers on them and someone requested could I do something similar with apps and I thought that's a great idea. So let me know your favourite apps in the comments below. They can be games, photo and video ones, lifestyle, productivity, whatever apps you love using the most. Now cover the whole thing in a thin layer of uncoloured frosting and this thin layer catches any crumbs so it's called the crumb coat. And once it's covered, place it in the fridge to firm up. While it's in the fridge we want to make our loom bands. Take a snake lolly and cut its mouth so that it opens and then cut two slices off the tail so it leaves you with a point like this. Heat that up with a brulee torch and then make the snake bite its own tail. Give it a little squeeze together and then let that cool. Now if you don't have a brulee torch you can light a candle and hold it next to the base of the flame. Don't put it in the flame or it will go black. Make lots of these in whatever colours you like and then we're ready to make our giant edible loom band bracelet. Take two of your bands and squash them with the join, the snake head bit in the middle and then place one on top of the other to make a cross and then fold the bottom one in half so it wraps around that yellow one. Then take a red band, find the head again and squash it so that that's in the centre and then feed that through the loops on the orange band. Now fold up the ends of the red one to make the loops for the next bit. And you can see we're starting to get that woven pattern. Keep adding more, and for those of you who are unsure what I just did, I'll show you a couple more. So squash the circle and then feed it through the loops of the last one, then straighten it up and fold it to make that the loops for the next one. Once you're happy with the length, we need to join it together. Now, usually you'd have a plastic clasp, but we're gonna use another snake. So place it through the loops of each one, and then loop it around so that it's nice and neat, and then trim it off, and use your brulee torch again to heat it up and seal the ends together. Now, you could give this as a gift to your friends just like that, but we're actually gonna use it on the cake. So take your cake out of the fridge and cover it in another layer of frosting using your spatula to smooth it out. Add your loom bracelet on top and then put the spare bands around the edge. And to make it look pretty, add a Smarty and then a mini M&M above each one in the matching color. Then you can cut through the bracelet using sharp, clean scissors and obviously then use a knife to cut through the rest of the cake and reveal those beautiful layers of colours. Thank you to everyone who voted for How to Cook That in the Streamy Awards. Voting actually closes in two days, so if you still wanted to vote, I'll put a link below. But thank you for all of those who already have. If you're only new here, click that subscribe button. There's a new crazy sweet creation every week. For all of you regulars, add your requests and your favourite apps in the comments below. Here's a link to last week's Sweet Burgers recipe. This one will take you to the How to Cook That channel. And here's the website link, howtocookthat.net. Have an amazing week and I will see you on Friday.